All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. I appreciate all the well wishes in chat. Um, for those who don't know, uh, I posted on Twitter yesterday about it, but we lost our little Zibby uh, on Saturday night, um, rather unexpectedly, honestly, because he was totally fine. And uh, we were just hanging out with him. Me and Nicole were just talking in my office, and I'm um, using my lap where I usually was, just kind of hanging out, and... Put him back home, thought he had to pee. He's just hanging out in the cage, munching on something. And five minutes later, Nicole notices he uh, he lays down in like his pee corner, which is the area he doesn't usually lay down, obviously. So I kind of go over and I go to pick him up, and he's just limp, just completely limp. And um, pick him up. Obviously, we're kind of like we're freaking out. You know, we call call the vet, check his mouth, see if he's choking on something, nothing in his mouth drive 90 miles an hour to the vet and just holding on to him get there and by the time we get there you know that they take him in it's obviously sucks it's like with the coronavirus and stuff you couldn't like we couldn't even go in with him but um at the, by the time we got him there it was basically all over and um the vet thinks that it uh might have been like a heart failure or a stroke or something like that because he was literally happily hanging out with us not 10 minutes prior so he wasn't even one year old. You know, hamsters don't live for a long time. You know, their average age is usually about two years, but didn't even have his first birthday, which really sucks. And um, sucks pretty bad. Um, you know, it, it's one thing if, you know, it had been two years and he, you know, he gets old and he passes away. It makes sense. We, we understand that that's how long a hamster lives. So, you know, but to come so suddenly has been quite a shock for us. Um, John, of course, is very, very upset. John's my nine-year-old stepson. Nicole's very upset. I'm very upset. You know, Zibby is definitely a pretty big part of our day-to-day -day life. I mean, you know, Bernsey was great. Giroux was great. I've had gerbils over the years, but, you know, they're still mostly, like, wild animals. You know, I would hold Bernsey, and he would run around and stuff, but he was never, like, like chill with me. You know, he was just, like, an animal who used to hang out with me sometimes, whereas Zibby was more, like, you know, akin to, like, a dog or a cat where he would just chill with me, you know, and I probably spent two or three hours a day with Zibby every single day. You know, he would sit in my lap. He would like sleep in my lap while I was putting up YouTube videos or writing my article, you know, every night he'd, he'd, uh, you know, he could say a night to John, we give him a carrot every day or every, every other day or whatever. You know, he was out of his cage probably five times a day, every single day. So he was definitely a big part of our, uh, our family and, it sucks, you know, we had to we had to get home. We got home from the vet at like midnight. We decided to wake John up and bury him on the spot because see that or freeze him. Uh, so we woke John up. John's obviously very, very upset about it. Nicole's very upset and it's just it's been pretty pretty crappy. Um, so I appreciate all your condolences. Again, the full information is on my Twitter. I made a long post about it explaining what happened. Um, really sucks. Obviously we wanted to have him in the new house. You know, he's part of a stream. Obviously, everyone in chat, I you know, appreciate all your, all your well wishes, you know. Obviously, everyone in chat likes to watch him, and he was part of the, part of the show. I mean, he slept a lot, but um, I was looking forward to, in the new house, in the new office, I was going to make him a green screen setup. I was going to put green screen around his cage and have him be, like, on the stream and stuff, and it really, really sucks. Um, it's definitely not cool, and he didn't get to get to our, our new house with us. Um, in a bit of serendipity, however, um... Yesterday, Nicole and I were driving around with John, just went out and just drove, just trying, you know, go do some things, being quarantined's not very fun, obviously. We get a call from the sellers of the house are buying, and they say they're ready to close as soon as possible, when uh, we were going to close initially on May 15th. So that's, you know, very, very good news. Um, so not all bad, I suppose. Um, it does definitely suck that, again, Zivy will not be coming to our new house with us, but... You know, we've been dying to move for about two years now. And, we all, you know, I would often joke that Zibby was our emotional support hamster um, because uh, things sucked, honestly, in the last year or two. Been a lot of, a lot of, we've been dealing with a lot of crap, and uh, he was always there for us. So kind of serendipity, I suppose. Um, you know, we'll hopefully be closing, honestly, maybe Monday of next week. So that's kind of the second part I want to talk, want to talk about before we get to Mog Monday is we're moving. So... We're finally here. Hashtag soon is finally here. And um, it's looking like we're going to close maybe next Monday. So a week or less. It's possible it'll be a little later in the week. But um, 
once that does happen, we're going to be moving, obviously. So content, live content is going to probably slow to a halt for about a month. Um, I'm going to try and get on for like Mog Monday, maybe like one, one day a week. Um, yeah, hashtag now, hashtag now. And, uh, you know, as we move, and we have a lot of work to do, obviously, as far as the actual moving process. Um, obviously, moving is not fun in the best of times in the middle of a pandemic when you can't just call your friends over to help and so on and so forth is, uh, you know, it's going to be a pain. But so we're going to move and then we got to set up our new, set up a new house, set up our new office, set up our new life, basically. So once we do that, um, things are going to go not dark on stream, but I'm probably going to be, you know, sparingly on stream for about a month, I would guess. Um, I'll try and get on at least once a week from Mog Monday. You know, it'll be kind of a, a rigged setup. Um, while I build my new office, I order a new desk and I'm literally going to paint the wall green for the green screen. I've whole bunch of stuff I want to do, you know, but I'll have the computer set up, obviously. I'll still, do, still, be, still, be, still, be, still, be, I'll still be doing my cool stuff content, uh, videos and articles. Still be a video every day on YouTube. I've been kind of banking them up over the last uh, few weeks. Um, I'm going to open the, the Your Deck Live channel probably after we launch the new stream stuff. So that's what's in store for the next month. But then once we relaunch everything, it's going to be what I've been talking about for the last year or two, you know. Um, full schedule, Nicole's going to be working for me. Um, full schedule of streaming and YouTube stuff. Probably open into the new YouTube channel. The feedback on that's been pretty positive. So, you know, it's not all bad. Um, it does, you know, it sucks that Zibby's not with us to uh, to be going to a new house. So, I appreciate everyone in chat and all your, your well wishes. Um, and, uh, you know, folks on YouTube may, may not know yet. Obviously, not everyone follows me on Twitter, so not everyone knows what's going on. Uh, removed from game, Deacon, thanks for the resubs, appreciate that. So, um, I was going to take a few days off from streaming, because frankly, the household is kind of sad right now, just in general. Uh, but I decided that, you know, let's do a Mog Monday, let's keep a little consistency, and um, I wanted to be able to just talk to everyone about it, let everyone know what's going on, because again, not everyone follows on Twitter, uh, so that's the one place I've, I've announced it. So by having a stream, and then I'm putting it on YouTube, I get to hit, you know, my main three three bases, and let everyone know what happened with Zibby, as well as what's going on with the moving stuff. So, I appreciate you all bearing with me here. Obviously, just talking for 10 minutes is not very fun and exciting, but thanks, Splice. I appreciate Thanks, everyone. I appreciate it. Lumber, Dead Sins, Lord Draken, Giovanni, everyone in chat. I appreciate it. Um, and yeah, so that's basically what's going on. So I don't know what we're going to do. Um, once you move, you know, getting a new animal is not, you know, we're not going to be rushing to do that. You know, obviously, Puppy Counters, uh, Puppy counters is live. You know, or the puppy, puppy counter is, you know, we hit a thousand subs and stuff. We said once we move into a puppy, so we'll be looking into that. Probably not immediately, but, um, you know, car and the puppy will probably be uh, in the docket at some point, you know, and then maybe at some point we'll get a, another small animal. I am definitely want another hamster. It does really suck because we love Zibby so much that we, we wanted to get him a, a mate and make some little, little Zibsters, little Zibster babies. Uh, you know, we were planning on doing that if we move maybe. To kind of let him, let him live on forever because obviously they only, they only live for like two years usually but unfortunately that's not going to be the case so that's all that so appreciate everyone hanging out and listening to me obviously you know one of the things about being a content creator and being full-time is that you know i end up sharing a lot, of, a lot of my life with you guys and i really appreciate everyone's support and everyone hanging out and um you know that's not this is, this is isn't exactly fun content this is uh, the last uh 15 minutes not not really been fun content you know i haven't been playing magic, you know, and some people are like, oh, just play magic or whatever, but I am a human being, I do have a family, you know, and I, I like to, I like that I get to share that with y'all, and, um, yeah, so, that being said, shut up, Jim, and play some magic, okay, fine, so, it is Mog Monday, and, uh, had this list in the holster for about a week or two now, um, I didn't play it last week, because I had the, uh, the crazy arena event to do, but, um, this is a list that 5 would a leak, if you can believe that. Um, and this, the, the Jim D. Hamio is not going anywhere. We're going to leave that one. So this was 5 out of leak, if you can believe this. This is a modern goblin list, and it is playing... I appreciate it, everyone. Thank you. Uh, this is a uh, modern goblin list. No goblin pile drivers, no goblin war chiefs. This is a sort of a hybrid list between Grum Gully combo. We're playing Grum Gully... And then, of course, Grum Gully's combos with, with Persist Creatures for infinite sacrifices, meaning that Grum Gully plus Red Cap and a Sack Out is infinite damage. Grum Gully plus 
a Putrid Goblin and a Skirk Prospector's Infinite Mana, and Grimgully plus Sling Gang and a, a Putrid Imp is also infinite damage. Um, and then it's got a second little combo here uh, of a card, a cycle of cards that got no attention at all uh, in Shards of Alara. There was one of these for every color in Shards of Alara, and they all got the, the color's corresponding mythic. And Dragon's Herald is a one red Goblin Shaman. Pay three, sacrifice a black creature, a red creature, and a green creature. So force you sacrifice this for the red creature. Search your library for a card named Hellkite Overlord, put it on the battlefield, then shuffle your library. So we can sacrifice a Putrid Goblin and a Vexing Shusher and go get ourselves a Hellkite Overlord, Overlord as early as turn three. So pretty wacky. Obviously Hellkite Overlord is pretty huge. 8-8 Flying Trample, Haste, Fire Breathing. Uh, it's kind of a monster. Kind of a monster. So pretty cute little plan B there. And um, that's the deck, really. Again, this deck's 5 out of league. I didn't change any cards in it. 22 lands, 4 Aether Vial, 4 Matron, 4 Ringleader. 4 Matron, of course, and can, can assemble our other combo as well. And then we cheat the uh, the green restriction here on Herald with Shusher and uh, and Grimgully. You do it on turn 3. You go turn 1, Vial. Turn 2, play Putrid Goblin, Vial, and Herald. Turn 3, Vial, and Shusher. Activate Herald. So you can do it as early as turn 3, which is pretty sweet. So... That's the main deck. Uh, sideboard, a lot of the usual stuff. I'm just going to play. I'm just going to stop talking. Talked enough. So I appreciate all the support, everyone. Um, again, this is a really, really good time for feedback. I know I keep saying it, but over the next, you know, once we move and things kind of go dark for about a month, that time is going to be spent not only with moving, obviously, but with kind of working on my content, updating my content, um, all new overlays, all new everything, all new setup. Um, the new YouTube channel, figuring out a little more concrete uh, plan for the YouTube channel, channels I guess, going forward and so forth, uh, scheduling, things like that. So your feedback is really, really important for that. So feedback, I have a feedback form. The link's in chat right now. The link's also in the uh, YouTube description. And uh, you're welcome to fill that out. It's anonymous. Also, you're welcome to just leave uh, comments on Twitter and YouTube. In chat, it's a little harder to see because I can't go back and look at it. But um now it's time for content or comments on content and suggestions. You know things you like, things you don't like. I'm probably gonna do a uh, like a Twitter form giveaway for feedback um, at some point in the near future as well. So I uh, appreciate all that. So all right, we're on the draw. Uh, we do have turn uh, turn four. Harold, if we want to stack both of these, but um, we can keep this end. This is an interesting hand, I'm sure. I'm curious when the last time Dragon's Herald was cast in Modern on Magic Online in any tournament. Wish there were stats like that, you know? I don't like the Metallic Mimic route. Um, it's a pretty fragile card. We're going to get boggled here. <laughs> That's how we're going to start our Mog Monday. We're going to get boggled. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I guess we can infinite them, which is cool. So, like, their life gain doesn't actually matter. So that's kind of a, a bit of a plus. We already have the Grumgully. I mean, we need to find the other pieces of a combo, but we have Matron, so. That's awesome, Vector. Happy to hear that. Deck was fun. I have a cool stuff video today. It's uh, both four-color bolus and standard. Check that out. I'm only going to shield too much today. All right, Griff Spoon, Ethereal Armor, attack for four. Um, we're probably dead, realistically. Uh, that helps, actually. A Prospector? Okay. We need to draw, we need to draw green also, but that's a, a piece to the combo. Wow, they have no other auras to play? That is almost unbelievable. Land. Okay, that is a land. It is not a green land. Um, 
I suppose we're just gonna matron for I mean we need a persist creature. Let's use matron for I mean that pause kinda feels like path to exile, which kinda sucks, but I can just matron for uh the red cap, I guess. Try and go that route. I guess we'll tag first. Alright, I mean, it's definitely not uh, ideal. Might have made a mistake there, yeah. I mean, I probably should have not attacked with Prospector, honestly. I'm not sure why they didn't block with the, uh, the Dryad Arbor. We could have experted, experted it if we had to, but... Spider Umbra's plus two damage, okay. Um, If we draw a... I don't think we get... I don't think we get... We, 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 think we can actually win. I don't know how we can survive and have enough mana to cast all of our stuff, even with a with a green source. So, we are one mana short of killing them. We can play Grumgully. Then we can play one, two, three. Yeah, we are one mana short of winning the game. That sucks. Well, they also have path, which in which case we lose anyway. But all right, that's thanks. Right, we can go. Land, Grum Gully, Sack for Red, Sack for Red. Yeah, so we're one short. Unfortunate. Oh, Bogles. Bogle, 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 Bogle. Alright, um. Don't really have much against them. I mean, Chalice on one is like reasonable, I suppose. We're gonna cut. I think the Hellkite Overlord package just seems really bad against them, because they uh, they play Path to Exile and racing isn't even gonna happen anyway. So Dragon is a blocker. I couldn't have played a green creature and activated. Um. Problem is like. I guess Chain Whirler could also be applicable, maybe. Most of our cards just aren't very good against them. Like, obviously Shusher's not very good. And without the Herald, the Shusher doesn't really matter anymore. But, if we just want, like, Expert over Shusher, even though it's not good either, but if they have a, uh, the O2 we need to kill, or Saram or something. Alright. The good news is that even if they gain, like, a million life... We don't need to race them. We just need to uh, assemble our combo and kill them. And this has some combo pieces in it, so let's keep this. Thanks, McIntyre. I appreciate it. Yeah, I decided that uh, probably not going to stream for the next few days, but it's partially a product of wanting to keep consistency from Log Monday, and partially a product of just being able to let everyone know what's going on through all of my usual channels. Um, you know, posting on Twitter doesn't help the folks who don't have Twitter, so I figured it'd be best to let everyone know what was up. This hand has a lot of persisters, but not a lot of uh, sock outlets. Well, there's your spirit dancer. That's really good for us. This is actually insane. So now you get to kill the spirit dancer, and they haven't even attacked yet. If 
Ferdinand, sorry, my friend. Sorry about the uh, delay. Remember, folks, you can always follow my Twitter, even if you don't have a Twitter. I always post on Twitter when I'm going to live, and I always post what's going on. So if you had checked my Twitter last night or this morning, you would have seen that I, I wasn't planning on streaming. So always keep an eye on that, even if you're not a big Twitter person, just a good place to find out what's going on. Uh, appreciate my YouTube followers. What's up, Cannon? Oh, I didn't put the deck in the overlay. I'm sorry, folks. I'm not exactly on my A game today. Oh, no, no. All right, attack. And blood crypts. Hyena Umbra. Sure. Them starting to play their auras on turn three is not, not bad for us. And, and honestly, Daybreak Coronet isn't even that bad. Um, it's not good, but the lifelink is usually the bad part. First Strike, Vigilance, Light. So I can't block this. I'm going to block this now. Because if they uh, get a flying thing in play, I guess if I want to get Prospector, it's an extra mana later, but I only have one card left. I want as, I want as much time as possible, I think. So... Deck was is up. Thanks, Shark. I appreciate it. Thank you for the resub. Land? Sure. Okay. So we gotta get... Let's get Prospector. Yeah, there's dead next turn. So, we just get Prospector. Play Prospector, and then next turn we can get Grumgully, and Sack for Red, Sack for Red, uh, Sack for Red, Sack for Red, cast it. Alright, there's a Ethereal Armor. So now I'm kind of glad that I blocked, because now, now it has Evasion, so this is 11, but I think I killed next turn, so... So now we go get Matron, get Grumgully, infinite mana, cast bird cap, and kill them. It's fun to mix up the lists, you know. Yes, Prospector works well with Future Goblin, just like uh, just like uh. War Marshal does. It's pretty weird to see a goblin that would know War Marshals, but well, I think you definitely want at least one War Marshal to, to matron for. So sack Peter Goblin for red, persist. Sack for red, persist. Please God F6 opponent. This shouldn't be taking this long. And then we cast red cap for four. Upstairs, save targets, always yield, sack red cap. Thanks to the resub, glad I appreciate that month number two, most important month. So we've locked in uh, all the targets and everything, and all these things are auto yielded, so it should go pretty quick. Cool. I'll take that. Chicken, thanks to the new sub. What's your name, where you're from? Welcome, my friend. I appreciate it. Thank you, everyone, for the support. Alright, run it back. I mean, their hand was kind of slow that game because they took, they took, took off turn two, so we would appreciate it if they did that again. I also wouldn't be sad if they just, like, mulligan to four because they're playing Boggles. We should Vile, at least. I'm keeping Vile's pretty important. Put mulligan six, so the Boggle, the Boggle deck obviously has to draw Boggle in its opening hand, and occasionally, you know, they don't, so... Damn it. There is a sub Discord, yes. Please, folks, if you're a subscriber, hop in the Discord. If you're a new subscriber, it takes about an hour to get synced up, and you must sync on mobile. Do not try and sync on, I'm sorry, on desktop. Do not sync on the mobile app, it will not work. Sub Discord is awesome. Great, great group in there.
one of the biggest, one of the best perks about being a a sub. That's good. Griff Spoon's like the worst one, and they don't have a land either. All right, so we, we have time here. We have time. This is good for us. All right. Well, I would like to draw some lands, but. They drew a land. That's bad. It means they have four spells in their hand. Just gotta hope for the least amount of creature pump possible. And they're looks like they're, looks like they're taking a turn off by the O2 again. And again, them taking a turn off is just so good for us. They're just doing nothing. All right, so they could have a path in their hand, which would be somewhat not ideal, but. Yeah, so we have infinite mana right now. They're gonna. That's that's not a good play. Uh, okay, they're gonna path the putrid goblin. Should definitely path the prospect, not the putrid goblin. But okay, I think this is fine. No, it's not fine. We're, we we just we just like we have like infinite mana this turn. They don't have, they don't have a uh, another path. We're just gonna sack it. And then if we don't draw a land, we just play Grim Gully and then Violin Goblin and then make infinite mana and so on and so forth. So we're gonna sacrifice it. I would like the mana if we didn't already have it all this turn. So should have most assuredly targeted the prospector. Oops. I'm not gonna mana floating, sure. Okay. Reliquary Tower, the Risen Reef deck? It sounds like a win more card to me. If you got that many cards in your hand, you should probably just win, right? Alright, there's your Grum Gully. This resolves, we have infinite mana. They have another path to exile. All right, so we're gonna let this one resolve because there's no benefit in uh, sacrificing this prospector. So double path to exile is pretty gross. Go get a land. And just say go. I mean, now we're just drawing to Matron or Prospector, and we have Ringleaders too. And their clock is very slow, so. Again, Coronet's fine, because we're trying to infinite kill them, so it doesn't really matter. We've definitely got time, despite double path to exile. Okay. Alright, well, let's hit uh, something nice here. Expert Chain Whirler. That is not, not the best. Not the best. Uh, we will have one more shot next turn, because all we need to draw is a... Uh, I guess we actually don't have a, a kill yet. I mean, they're at 23, yeah, I guess we're saying go. If we hit a Prospector, we have infinite mana, but no way to use it yet. Uh, so we need a little more help. A Sling Gang would be a kill, though. So, yeah, Lauren Shadow is pretty cool. Heh, <laughs> yes, Dio. Oh, don't kill me. That's eight. All right, we are still alive. Don't think we're gonna be able to win with uh, regular combat damage, so we have to find ourselves 
a sling gang lieutenant or a prospector and some sort of combination of matron and whatever. All right, so Vile's going up. This is the turn to end all turns. That's a good start. So now if we uh, we haven't have a mana to hit matron or, or another, another waiter, so put in... Well, I have infinite mana, so... Call in the herd. New sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. And they're dead. Hit four goblins. Now we're going to play our entire hand and have a great time. It's going to be awesome. That'll do. Better believe I'm just casting everything, having fun this turn, and not uh, not just killing them yet. I'm just gonna enjoy it. Uh, Sling game lieutenant. Oh, that's the kill card. Eh, I'll just kill him, I guess. And I'll nuggy for one. I'll nuggy for two. And we're moving on up. Oh, they scooped the first time. There we go. All right, sweet. That's pretty nice. Beat Bogles. Beating Bogles. You're just tuning in. Um, I explained what happened to Zibby, and uh, I explained our current moving situation at the start of the stream. So uh, if you missed that, it'll be up on YouTube, honestly, in a few hours. I'll have it up. Maybe an hour after the stream ends. So, Dio, thanks, my friend. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. It's very generous. Dio just donated 120 bucks. The alerts don't work. I appreciate that, Dio. So, long and short is that Zibi passed away very unexpectedly on Saturday, and that, uh, in a bit of good news, the sellers to the house we're buying agreed to close as soon as possible rather than in the middle, middle of May. So, it's very possible that we'll be moving next week or around that so um, when that does happen the stream will be going uh, into you know once in a while mode for about a month while I get things set up but yes two dragons herald one elk I'll cut overlord again this is a list of five out of league uh, it's not my list I just found it but the overlord thing does seem a little gimmicky um, but I don't know. The, the combo part seems... Actually, just playing for Putrid Goblin seems, it seems to help the combo part of it like a lot, actually. And again, if you want to know what um what happened to Zibby, I posted all about it on my Twitter. The, the link's in chat. It was a very good hammy. I mean... Yeah, sure. Yes. It's okay, Sonar, thank you. Thank you, Ken, I appreciate that. Yes, place. Zippy was a very, very happy hammy. And regardless of his life coming, uh, coming to an end much shorter than we expected, I would hazard to find a a hamster that had a better life than Zibby did. So, literally beloved by thousands around the world. He got treats every day. His entire job is to sit of sleeping. But now we're not moving far at all. We're actually moving about half a mile from here. So, we, we, wanted, we wanted to keep John in the same school district, but we need to get the hell out of my dad's house and get our own house. So, which we've been trying to do for the last two and a half years, and it looks like we're almost finally there, so... Arbor Elf. Okay. It's okay, Scrubblood Scrub Millionaire. Go nuts. Mash away. Another Petra Goblin. Alright. I mean... Nice, uh... 
Nice Blood Moon, I guess. Utopia Sprawl. Go nuts, my friend. Yes, I posted a video on my Twitter of uh, me, John, and Zibby hanging out. I'll show it to everyone. Turn to Bloodbraid Elf. Arbor Elf plus uh, Arbor Elf plus Sprawl is pretty good. Discarding Glorybringer and Utopia Sprawl. That's pretty scary that they're pitching a Glorybringer. Means they probably have two. Um, this is a pretty good hand from them. <laughs> like, they've put three, six, seven, eight power in play on turn two. Um, I mean, we could just like draw a combo card and kill them. Like, <laughs> or. Or we could draw Dragon Herald. That, that also works, I guess. So just play Putrid Goblin, have, have Goblin up. I guess if we draw a land, we can get Hellkite Overlord next turn. Thanks for resubbing Crazy Legs. I appreciate that. Yeah, they have Glorybanger for sure. It's turn three Glorybanger. Sure tapped a lot of lands. Wow. They're going to attack with only Glorybringer? This future goblin stared down their entire board and is like, you shall not pass. Alright. Uh... I mean, Hellguide Overlord seems really good against them, realistically, right? Like, how do they kill a Hellguide Overlord? Alright. I mean, let's draw land, I guess. I don't know how you don't swing out there. You can exert, too, and you can kill a 2-2, so and nothing can die if you're really that scared. Land, please. Uh, close enough. It's pretty funny. All right. Um, so we have the sack. Oh, I I I I played the wrong land. I'm stupid. I should have. I I screwed up. I'm gonna sack Rum Gully, obviously. So I, I should have made it. Should have left the this open for. I'm stupid. Alright, whatever. Ah, uh, just Grum Gully next turn. Um, I'm pretty sure we just fire off the Hellkite and just try and kill him in two turns. So, yeah, I screwed up. Yeah, we just punted. We just punted. Oh, fire breathing, right? Never mind, we're good. We can make it a bit of mana. Yeah, okay. We're good, never mind. That's pretty funny. Don't think I ever cast a Hellkite Overlord before. This is a turn four kill. This deck is broken. That's probably enough, right? Which is just like actual regular regular fire breathing.
<laughs> That's our thumbnail, folks. That's our thumbnail. All right. Gruel mid range. This is a spot where this card seems really good, obviously, because they can't really kill it very effectively. Um, let's bring in Chain Whirler Expert. Crater Maker doesn't seem very good. It's Shusher's bad, but it's green. Um. Even need Goblin Chieftain? I don't think so. I think I just want to keep the two drops and the green creature, so we'll keep the Shusher in. Not bad for uh, beating turn two Blood Rage, turn three Glorebringer, you know? Well, this one's not going to work. This one's not going to work. This, however, is much better. Let's keep this one. Let's ship, uh... What do we ship, though? All these cards are good. Thanks, Prime. I appreciate it. Um... I mean, we want the Expert to kill things. I think we want the Herald just to get the Dragon. I want Prospector, because it's good with the Goblin. Maybe it's Prospector. And then we're looking for a green creature... Opponents on Let me just ship the Herald. We need to like find a green creature. It has to live. Yeah, I considered sacking the mountain, but there are they are a pillage deck. I don't think they would have kept pillage in against me, but. They also could have an answer to my Aether Vial, because they're, they're like a red-green deck, so... Eh, whatever. Uh, I can't cast Expert, which kind of sucks. Eh, whatever, just ship a land, who cares? It'll probably work out. Stomping Ground tapped goes. They have no one-drop, and we draw land. <sighs> Easy peasy. Turn to Scavenging Ooze. Now, Scavenging Ooze does break up our combo. Because they can exile my Persist creature. Thankfully, we can just kill it right now. So, we will do that. Oh, cool. Anti Sobble for Expert. Send in Prospector. Expert this. Not too shabby. And they're gonna miss a land drop? Wow. Wowzer, wowzer, wowzer. All right, we're going up. Um, all right. I guess we're just playing everything. Kinda just got the little mopey beatdown squad here, but Lightning Bolt, my Prospector. Sure. So I just draw a green creature, right? We can do that. They're gonna lightning bolt my dragons, Herald. Sure. Thanks, Lee. I appreciate that. They might have anger in their deck, which would suck for us, but we can't really afford to play around it, I don't think. Just have no cards left, so. I'll just draw Mace Ring later and everything's fine, so. There's our, our Grum Gully buddy. So we are one card off uh, killing them. Grum Gully is also just like. 
pretty solid just by itself. I imagine it might eat a bolt here, but... Or not. Alright, so we'll go to four. So if we draw a ring, ring gang or sling gang, we win the game. Ring gang, ring leader. I yeah, vial works too. I mean, or we could just attack and kill them. I guess grizzly bears is good enough. It's turn six. Will they draw land number three? We'll never know. Foothills, Herald, Matron. That's a pretty quick 2 0 so far. Here, watch this video of me and Zibi and John. John's like right off screen. Good little Zibby. He was a very good little hammy. He had a very good little life. So I appreciate all of you. Obviously, he didn't really know that any of you all existed because he's just a hamster, doesn't really know what's going on. But I appreciate all all of your support. And uh, he didn't necessarily know that um that he was loved by y'all, but you know. If he had known, I'm sure we would have been thankful. Yes, I talked to John. We're considering making that into an actual song. John's been playing cello a lot lately, and obviously I'm, I'm, I'm fluent in all the instruments, so it might be a fun family activity we're going to do tomorrow. As I said, I'll be taking a few days off from streaming, so... He's a hammy. He's a hammy. That was all written on the spot, too. That was just improv. That was not pre-planned. All those lyrics are written right off the cuff. So, yes, the Hammy emo. Zibby will live forever as Jim D. Hammy. Opponent says in chat, going to search Hellkite in Google. Should I just tell him to watch the stream? Yeah, it might be a banger, you know? A little quarantine song. It, it, it kind of sucks, you know? Like, obviously, I work from home, so I haven't noticed the quarantine as much as most. But um, when you want to go out and do something and you just can't go out and do anything, <laughs> like, we went and drove around yesterday and just, like, kind of drove around for two hours and stopped at a few Pokemon gyms, went to the big duck here on Long Island. It's just like a, a, a they just sell duck there, and it's just a, a small shack shaped like a duck. Any merit to playing a second Hellkite Overlord? I don't think so. Drawing, it's pretty bad. It sucks it doesn't have the templating like Gate to the Afterlife does, where you can get it out of your graveyard or your hand, too. It's much better templating, but it does not have that, unfortunately. Alright, I mean... I'm just like, oh. Aether Mech, I feel you. Laying down fat lyrics for the Zipster, yeah. So I thought that'd be a fun act of family activity to do. We could all work on a song. John and Nicole and I can sing. I'll play the guitar, bass, and drums. John can play the cello. Maybe get a, a trombone part there. John's playing trombone too, so. Ooh, we getting infected here? Spell skite. That's kinda lame. Looks up breeding <laughs> going to search breeding pool in uh in Gatherer. Yes. John should be in a ska band. You know the big duck? Yeah, it's like just like this this shack. I can probably find it on the internet if you want to see it. Like it's like a big tourist thing, but like yeah, there it is. But it's like it's just a building shaped like a duck. It's not particularly large or anything, it's just a big duck. I don't I don't know. Is it has its own Wikipedia page? Yeah, like Oh my god, this is longer than, like, the legacy of the big duck? Yeah, so we went we went to see the big duck yesterday. That was our exciting family adventure. I 
That's not a bad draw. Um, I guess we just like jam Chieftain here. Playing Grum Gully first is kind of nice because obviously can set up uh, makes it bigger. And I guess like the you can't play a black creature and activate Herald in one turn because all of our black creatures cost two. So we're like setting up for a, a Hellkite, but. If you get combo kill, I can read the legacy of a duck. You got it. I will read the duck Wikipedia page. Um, matron for prospector doesn't really do it. I'm just going to play the, the chieftain and attack. Certainly value in playing Grumgully first, but I'd like to know what's up a little bit. They haven't played, a, they haven't played a, an infect creature yet, so... Yeah, I'll still be doing my Coria full set review, and I'll still be doing the uh, the early access stream, because those are just the best. So... Just won't be a stream every day once we move. Probably, like, once, maybe twice a week. The YouTube will still have a video every day, though. There's plenty of YouTube comment. Uh, all this quarantine is... Uh, quarant being quarantined and streaming basically every day for the last three weeks has been... Uh, made a lot of content. A lot of content. All right, um, that's pretty good, actually. So we can like expert attack with everything. I guess the expert won't kill the spell skite. Mm. It's really, really awkward. Um, the pre-release event is on the 15th, I believe. I'll, it's, they've posted about it, you can look it up. I think you want to, like, expert Blighted Agent, make them redirect, then attack, then do it again. Actually, wait, hold on. Yeah, there's, there's no way I can expert spell skite and then expert this because I can't. I could play this one in response to this, but I have to put a target on the stack and they can move a target. So I'll just target this. See what they do. So they're going to pay two life and change target. Let me attack. We have a, a Hellkite kill last match, yes. It's taking a whole bunch. I mean, I have to assume we're probably dead, unfortunately, but I guess we'll just lower their life total, I guess. was a nice Hellkite kill. It was pretty cool. With five cards in hand, I can't imagine they don't have enough stuff, stuff to kill me, so... Oh, look, we're dead. That's fun. But it is lame. Alright. Um, let's bring in Chain Whirler, the Crater Makers, and the Expert. And cut down on. Hellkite does seem pretty good against them. We just cut like three ringleaders and I guess one shusher. I'm 
Chalice on one is only like okay. It's not amazing. I guess it stops a decent amount of stuff. Maybe it's actually worth it. Maybe you're right. On the play, it seems pretty good. This does turn off most of their pump spells too. I could buy a Chalice on one. Okay, I'm sold. You sold me. Um. Maybe like Crater Maker is just not good. Just like too slow. Like it's removal, but it's like the worst possible removal. So, sure, let's do this. We can obviously still play our one drops through Vile or Cavern of Souls. So, who boy, that's a hand. Pretty sure we just like can't mulligan this hand. We just can't mulligan the Aether Vile hand. So, keep this Ship Blood Crypt. I'm gonna ship the foothills, I guess, actually. Put a mulligan six also, so that's good, I guess. Noble Hierarch, so I'm pretty sure we're just killing that right now. It's gonna be very hard to do much else with Expert. Obviously we draw it. We bottom blow no, we bottom the other land, god damn it. I think the new companion card is modern modern playable. Uh which card is that? Alright, so they have a land, which is like kind of bad, I guess. And they're gonna play Glistener Elf. Alright, need a spell here. I mean, that is a spell. Kind of a cute one, too. So like we can like violin and block, and then if they go to Pendlehaven, we can shoot it. I guess if they Pendlehaven before, no, it'll, it'll be in play because the violin can't respond to it. So pants man, reset. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for support, everyone. Now we block. If they go for Pendlehaven, we kill it. This is going to waste at least one pump spell, so it feels pretty nice. Deal two here. And now they have to play a pump spell just to keep it alive. That's awesome. Beating anything but. Wait, wait. Oh. Yeah, it's Hexproof, for it. Beating anything but Blighted Agent is very reasonable, but. Agent's really stupid, unfortunately, so. Okay, that's pretty good. I guess we know our bottom card. I should put the, the Blood Crypts. Thank you, Pants Man. Pants Man. I appreciate that. Ringleader, don't let me down. Matron and Dragon's Herald. It's pretty good, actually. I doubt they can remove a blocker. Stack. Matron's gonna get something. Good game's Lost Guardian. I saw your message. Just as a note, I, I never talk in chat on Magic Online. I'm streaming, so. GP New Jersey, good times. Good plan, my friend. If you're ever wondering, if you ever, if you ever play against me and I'm streaming, I, I never talk in chat. 
Very, very rarely. Occasionally, I'll say something if like something like needs to be said or it's like something like that. But I don't really engage in casual conversation in chat because then I get a conversation. I'm trying to stream and so on and so forth. So don't ever feel offended if I don't respond. We're actually out of ringleaders. I boarded out a bunch of them because it's more about uh, speed in this matchup than card advantage. So we're probably going to get a Grumgully, I think. Grumgully also allows us to uh, Dragon's Herald. So yes, this will, this will be on YouTube, yes. Um, yeah, Chain Roar doesn't really help. It's probably just Grumgully. Which sets up which sets up combo draws. I guess not really. We need, it's a three piece con combo, so but Grom Gully just allows us to to help to overlord them, so Sling Gang. We're gonna block this matron. I mean Sling Gang's too slow. Yeah, whatever, Grom Gully. It's Mog Monday coming to Popper. I've played Popper before on Mog Monday. That was like a few weeks ago, maybe. Remember, folks, all episodes of Mog Monday are on my YouTube. Mog Monday is typically 9 a.m. on stream and 7 p.m. on YouTube that night. Obviously, we're a little off schedule right now, but... So this is going to go... It's just going to stay. I don't know how I have any fours in my deck, so... Damn it. Alright. Um, not the coolest, but... It's funny, we actually don't want to block with our expert anymore. So we needed sacrifice to our, uh, our herald, so... I mean, Hellcat Overlord kills them, so... So they have like Aether Gust or something. <laughs> Can't stop the Overlord. Could have drawn it, I guess. I probably would have activated upkeep. That was pretty cool. No blighted agent. It's a good day. It's possible to suggest a deck for Mog Monday. Um, you can suggest it. No promises, though. The Herald has a tap ability, so you can't use it at instance, or you can't use it immediately. Uh, Sand is fine. We've got Herald and Expert. We've got two parts of our combo. If we draw Grum Gully, it's turn four kills, so. Punt Mulligans to six. All right, so just don't, uh, just don't blighted agent me. That's all I ask. Listener elf, sure. So, let's say we're not blocking. Oh, that's awesome. So now we can kill the uh, the blighted agent. Hopefully, I mean, they, they could have the uh, the free spell, but damn it. Well, the good news is that they only have two cards left. They mulliganed and they uh, had to blow up a pump spell here, so... Well, it's possible we can die next turn. It's not extremely likely, so... Oh, that's a scale up. <sighs> Alright, so let's draw Goblin Chain Roller. Or another Petra Goblin. Okay. Let's 
Sure. Hopefully we didn't just fuel their uh, become mints, but I don't think they play uh, that card anymore. I mean, Fernando, sounds cool. You're welcome to shoot me a tweet or something like that and uh, show me the list. I'll definitely take a look at it. And we're dead. All right, cool. Yay, Blighted Agent. 5-0 Dreams. Gone. Gone, gone, gone. Deck's honestly working a lot better than I thought it would, though. The, the Hellcat Overlords actually kind of made sense. Even it looked really silly. Um, just playing a lot of Putrid Goblins seems really nice for your Grumgully combos. Uh, like, actually, not just putting, like, one Grumgully and one Red Cap in your regular Goblin deck, just trying to actually be a Grumgully deck is kind of sweet. Thanks for the follows, everyone. I appreciate it. Uh, this dance pretty cool. We'd love to play against a Mystic Sanctuary deck with our Shushers and our Cavern of Souls. It's my idea of a perfect format. One where our, my opponent goes turn one Bajuka Bug. I don't know. Obviously, I think a mixture of you know fair and unfair magic is a good thing. Um, you know, there's there's some elements that are a little extreme, but part of the the fun of the game is like the fear of that you know like how do you change your strategy when you know you can die on turn two or three it's probably like an amulet deck I would think explosives on one that's pretty freaking lame sure All right, a vexing shusher. Why don't you go show your uh, your true quality? Yes, Cantus. They have a two four here. It's gonna be pretty hard to kill that. I guess we can, we can just like put in Prospector and like Shusher and we can do a lot of things this turn, honestly. Putting in Prospector makes... It's probably just need the actual Goblin to kill it, so... I'm not a very spiritual person, Green Boys, but um, as I said earlier, you know, we had a... That's really good. Um, are they dead? No. We could maybe have infinite mana of a turn, but we can't do better than that. That sucks. Makes you feel bad about playing, playing the Prospector. Or benefit to playing. Definitely need to kill the Dryad. It's probably just a future Goblin Expert. I think we can do infinite mana this turn, honestly. I don't think it does anything. We can put in future Goblin, Matron for Grumgully, Psyching for Red, and Red, and One. Yeah, I think we get an infinite mana this turn, it just like, doesn't actually do anything. So. Maybe just major for Grumgully. Force them to cast his Papa's explosives. Which is like the least efficient thing to do. Let's get stomped. 
stopping ground in case they have like ghost code or something. I doubt we're gonna lose this game by inches, so. So we get Grumgully. It could get Dragon's Herald. Nah. Without Vile. Yeah, it's just too slow, I think. Alright, let's get, um... Grumgully. Just put in our Expert. Kill this 2-4 attack. Make them have to pop the explosives. If you're just sitting in an unfamiliar with how a deck works, uh, Grumgully plus Persist means infinite creatures. So, if it persists, it comes back as a 2-2, ready to persist again. So, with the Sack Out in play, uh, Sack Out your Putrid Goblin is infinite mana. Uh, Murderous Redcap is infinite damage. Sling Gang Commander plus Goblin and Grumgully is infinite damage. So, a lot of like three card loops. Stirring hit another Simic Growth Chamber. Okay. We have infinite mana next turn, I better kill my vial. <laughs> yeah, we have it we have it anyway, right? So Actually if they kill Vile and Prospect, we don't have we don't have it, but I almost wish we had more sling gangs, honestly. I think if, I think I like this idea of kind of just being more all in on the combo. But why not just play like four sling gangs and less ringleaders, you know? Persist give infinite mana with Mothra? No, because it the flying creature has flying when it comes back into play, so. Oh, we had him. We had him. Alright, well we have him next turn now, so. Even if they tighten us, they don't have amulet, so. We can just smash and play Grumgully and say go, and then if we draw a land, we kill them. Uh, we tried that once, Pedro, on a previous episode of Mog Monday, uh, trying to hybridize Dirty Kitty in this deck. It did not work at all. I think that this deck needs to just be like itself. It can't be something else, so that's fine. All right, so just like don't kill my Grumgully, I suppose. Oh wait, we need to have the, pers the, pers the, pers the persist creature in play also. So we're actually we're actually pretty far off. With no with no vile or prospector here. It's probably actually a, mis a mistake on my part to uh to attack an expert. So if we draw a prospector, we have more mana. All right, I mean, Titan for Field of a Dead Land, sure. Obviously, we're trying to infinite them, so we don't really care about the tokens that much. She did not die. I mean, they're just, they're just paying their... That's pretty sweet. Are they dead? Yes. Yes, they are. Right? Prospector, red, red. Yeah, Prospector, red, black. Yeah, they're just dead. Awesome. Let's next guess. Red, black. Yeah, playing four Peter Goblin is definitely the it's definitely the ticket here. Not bad. Thanks kinda sweet. I'm gonna have to work on this deck. Again, this is a, a list that I found that 5-0'd, and I saw a Hellcut Overlord, and I was like, sweet, let's play this. 
but I'm actually kind of impressed. We are 2-0, oh, so... I don't think I like Damping Sphere. It just slows us down, too. Honestly, I don't really like anything here. Cyborg needs work. Cyborg needs work. I'm going to try it back, honestly. You can cut, like... I guess Crater Maker kills Amulet, but really, really badly. Oh, yeah. Structure's bad. Is Hellkite Overlord even good? Let's, uh... Let's bring in Crater Makers. Cut, like, Shusher, Shusher, I guess. Be good if there's another, another good Green Goblin for Heralds. That'd be nice. Expert's probably just better than Shusher, too. We shouldn't even bother with the... And that, that makes the Heralds really bad. Uh, I'm just bringing the Expert. Let's play two Crater Makers. Let's try this. Yes, Crater Maker does most things, but pretty badly. Pretty badly. This hand is uh, pretty badly. Yeah, I just don't think he's like wants that many ringleaders, honestly. I mean, we're gonna mulligan Sanchez just terrible. Ugh. I guess we keep. Let's just bottom the fetch land, I guess. Alright. Not a very good hand, but... Eh, that's bad. Yeah, this hand's pretty slow. The deck does seem a little more reliant, a little more reliant on Aether Vial than uh, other Goblin decks. Castle Garenbrig. Stirring, sure. We did. Oh, it's always game three, folks. I'll play a grizzly bear. Am I dead? You should kill me. It's, uh, any green bounce land plus uh, the old titan. Uh, appreciate you hanging out, folks. No, this is not my usual. Uh, high energy uh, stream, exciting stream, but I appreciate y'all hanging out. Thank you. Couldn't miss a Mog Monday. Couldn't miss a Mog Monday. I feel like Magic Island should have a show hand button. You just like press the button, it just shows your hand to your opponent, so they can just concede. Obviously, if they have a Titan, I'm going to concede here. Oh, wait. Never mind, it's only four mana. So you need to have, like, a extra land effect, too. Just another Mug Monday. Well, the thing is that after the game, it's BM. Because then, then it's just like, this game's already over, but just in case you're wondering, I still have all these... Whereas in game it's more like, hey, I have the whole combo, you can concede. You know? Which would save time. Heh. <laughs> there are five hundred and sixty seven cards similar to Zertar Goblin. Please refine your search. Zertar Goblin, not specific enough. <laughs> Why would you want the, uh, oh, just as a red-green goblin? Um, that card's, like, not the worst, honestly. I mean, goblins look is, like, already good against counterspells, so, man, if I had a stone right here, they should be dead. That's pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, alright. So... 
what I do for a living and magic didn't exist. I mean, I, I have a degree in English and writing. I was considering getting my, my, my master's and going into, going into teaching. I taught at, at a private school for a year. It was like part-time. Um, what do we get a matron for? We can just get prospectors so we can kill this thing next turn. It's like, we kind of want prospector anyway. I have a degree from a bust. Stunderbrook University. What's a sea wolf? I'm a sea wolf. So, I guess we'll. Jun Hackblade is a magic card. That card beat me at Pro Tour Honolulu 2009. I was playing for 10 0 and constructed, and I lost to that card. Came in 33rd place at that Pro Tour. If I won the last round, I top 16 and went 10 0 and constructed. Um, Tatter Munch Maniac's pretty bad. Alright, um. So if you get Prospector, we can Prospector Expert next turn and kill the 2-4. Uh, and then just be like, open up to, if I draw a Grum Gully. I guess if I draw a Grum Gully, I only have infinite mana. If I get Grum Gully, then I'm drawing to like Sling Gang and some stuff. Could just get Ringleader, I guess. Like they're tapping out next turn for the Pact. I just get so like they tap or packed, I untap, tap for ringleader, and then tap and kill me. Yeah, you probably need to kill this dryad realistically. Um, let's just get prospector, I guess. I don't know if this is right or not. Uh, that's a good reason to kill Dryad. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, those are things. Valakit, the Molten Pinnacle. Singular, twice. All right, I mean, they have nothing, we're in okay shape, right? Well, that ain't nothing. All right, let's go to the next game. All right, I mean... Pretty stinky there, two three lands in our hand, obviously. So don't really have any cards for this matchup in the sideboard, which kinda stinks, but I guess we'll just try and figure it out. I guess squad's really good. Why don't I bring this card in? Just get the like we get their important lands. Duh. Stupid. Bring that in. Let's just shave like a ringleader. Let's actually just take out two ringleaders, bring in the shusher back in. Being fast is all that matters. Modern might just be too slow for ringleader if you're not like interacting a lot. This actually played more like a combo deck. So, not bad this Chieftain either. I don't really like know what we needed that for. I see boarding a Chieftain, but... Alright, this hand's fine. Um, we're going to keep... I think we're going to dump second vial. I don't think we really need two vials without ringleaders and stuff. I want a one and a two. Tribe Scout, sure. Oh, that was that was not good. That was not good at all. Oh god. Alright. Um 
I would say that now we are in trouble. We have drawn a dead card, and now we have two dead cards in our hand. I guess, like, we could cast this if we make infinite mana, but it's pretty bad. Oh my god. New plan, vile to eight. John's pretty sad. It's kind of the worst part, honestly. There's like teen off on us here. Norn, thanks for the resub. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. 21 months is a long time to support me, and I appreciate that very much. Thank you. I mean, they're one short of Titan, right? A ghost quarter? Alright, I mean, could have been worse, I guess. Can always create a maker their amulet, I suppose. Is that more important than killing Azusa? Right, at this point they already have four mana here, so probably killing Amulet's better. We have a, we have a, the card that tutors for it. Yikes, Castle Garen Brig. Castle Garen Brig's so good. Alright, turn three Titan. Yeah, duh. It's an 8 8 Dragon Mythic Rare. Why wouldn't you play it? We draw like Runner Runner, um, Grum Gully. I don't even know what we can draw, honestly. Oh, yeah, we draw Runner Runner, Grum Gully. Uh, that's it. And just, and just not die. Not nah, third favor. You can't. You can't double up on your sacrifice. Sacrificing a red and black creature does not count as both. All right. I mean, they just like Titan, but didn't get Field of Dead or anything. It's interesting. Well, that's really awkward. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Sure. Great. Fantastic. I guess you're up. I haven't drawn too great this game, but thank you, Todd. I appreciate that. If you missed the early part of a stream. I explained out what happened to Zibby as well as our moving situation. Um, Looks like I'm moving faster than we expected. Uh, one of the benefits of the, uh, or we had a, a phone call yesterday 
saying that they wanted to move up our moving date, so our closing dates. That's really awesome for us. So again, all information was at the start of this video or start of the stream. And if you uh, missed it, it'll be up on YouTube in about an hour or two. So all right, two and two. I kind of sucked. Uh, definitely, just, our sideboard seems really, really bad. We haven't used like any of the cards on our sideboard at all. So I think it's actually kind of sweet. Um, I'd be interested in trying to build it. I'm not sure if the Hellkite Overlord is worth it, but I'd be pretty interested in trying to build this deck to try and build the best possible Grum Gully combo deck. Like, don't try being Gobble deck. Don't try gob don't play Goblin Pile Driver. Don't try and do anything but be the best Grum Gully deck possible. It's kind of a cool idea. Have to work on that for a future Mog Monday. does suck that the templating on the Herald isn't better. Like, they moved away from search your deck into, like, search your deck hand and graveyard because it's so miserable to draw the card into your opening hand, into your, into your hand. Sucks the, uh, the Herald doesn't have that template. We'll keep. It's not great, but put a mulligan six. Verdant Catacombs. Stomping Ground. Wild Nakatl. You don't say. Alright, well... Okay. Ryan's not great here. Turn 2 Dryad Arbor is great, though. They have a 2-2 two -two Nick Otto. Uh, problem is if we try to expert their Arbor, we get to just bolt my guy in response. I think we're just playing the old Peter Goblin. Blocks pretty well, all things considered. Just gotta grind and stay alive here. Excuse me? Did you just tar fire me on Mog Monday? Who the hell do you think you are? The nerve of these people. Alright. Um, so we can expert the Arbor or the Nakatl. I kind of want to kill the uh, the Arbor. And if they don't draw white, we get to red cap the, uh, the Nakatl. I think we're in pretty good shape this game, honestly. Good news and bad news. They drew a land. Bad news. Good news is it's not a white source, so... The Endless Dance. Okay. That's fine. Let's double up on the, uh, the Gala. Maestro, I appreciate that. Thank you for the raid. Yes, there'll be a streamer event for uh, Ikoria. Have to like not die to this Tarmogoyf. Have we block with the red cap, then we uh, run into the problem of we can't combo anymore. That's the wrong line to play, whatever. Alright, let's kill this Nakatl. Thanks, handsome Matt, I appreciate it. Well, they found their other colors and stuff. We're probably in doo doo here. Two 
two cards left. Burning Tree Emissary Bushwhacker. It's not actually that bad. Unless they have more. We can just block Goyf and then shoot and kill the Bushwhacker. This is the spot where I really want to have one copy of Mog War Marshal in my deck for Matron. I just have Bolt anyway. Alright, sure. So. Oh my god. Um. Okay. Expert for sure. Chainwaller for sure. Crater Makers are like okay. Should we cut our Hellkite Overlord package? What else is bad? They could have Path too. Just cut the Hellkite Overlord package. And you cut the Shushers too. I just want Chalice on one at that point. I'm not really big on Chalice, but sure, let's try this. Alright, uh, it's a little slow, it's a little slow, but we have a Vile, which is the most important part, and we're on the play, so. Point blowing is a 6, is there like any other playable 1 drop we could play? I think Vile seems so important. Um... Alright, let's uh, show them, I guess Pashik Mons, like the worst goblin in our hand. Don't play Slippery Boggle or Glistener Elf, please. I've seen enough of those cards for one day. Oh, duh. We're playing it Zoo. I remember. I remember. I know where I am. I know what I'm doing. I am A-okay. Alright, so... Narnum Renegade... I mean, we're looking for a persist creature if we get Grumgully. I don't think you have Bushwhacker in this deck. I just like the idea. I think that the idea of being like a just a full on combo deck is a really good idea. And then that they have like Leyline of the Void or some piece of hate. You're still playing, like, okay enough goblin cards to just kill them. Golly. Yeah. Spike Shot Elder with infinite mana. Ah, uh, that means you already have, like, your Prospector and your Persist Creature and your, your thing. That's how it makes it, makes it a four-card combo. Like, Pajic Mon sort of does the same thing, but it's also, like, a good magic card in a goblin deck, unlike Spike Shot Elder, so it's not a bad idea. It is a one-drop, but... Beta push could be a possibility, given that, like, I think you want to play a little more of a fair game. But, thank you, mister, I appreciate it. Zibby, Zibby was pretty great. We were really, very fortunate to be, uh, be with them. Alright, so, now he gets to kill something, which is kind of cool. Um, Mod Fanax, like, just pretty... Not good. Zebby wasn't even a year old yet, which is why it's so surprising and stinky.
Thanks, Ant Sky. I appreciate that. I know one thing, and I know that Zibby definitely had the best life of any hamster. He was treated like a king around here. We spent too much money on Zibby. He has three houses inside his big house, or had three houses, a ball pit, an exercise ball, three total water bottles between his main house and his office. He had a job. How many, how many hamsters have a job? You know? One Goblin Guide. Ant's Guide doesn't even have a, a, doesn't even have a ball pit. It's a, it's a, it's a job. It's funny. Uh, Alright, so... Top card is the Cavern of Souls. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're just blocking here. Just trade. Oh, they, they, they got Targus Command. I guess that's still fine, though, because I would just kill the, the Renegade. Come on, opponent. I gotta go poo. Not good timing here. I'd like to finish the league before I have to go to the bathroom. My stomach's pretty unhappy. So this is fine. We just kill the uh, the renegade, steal one damage here and one damage here. So pretty good exchange for us, I think. I have things to do. Yes. Putrid Goblin's a nice one. That's actually lethal. The problem is like, we can't really beat a Bolt. Um, try and set up Grum Gully plus Goblin and Sling Gang. Just gonna get Ringleader, I think. Thanks, Gore. Putrid Red Cap Matron. That's all pretty great. I'm sorry to say it, folks. I'm actually need to take a bathroom break. Uh, I can't hold the rest, the rest of the match. So, sorry, folks. Uh, I'll be back in about two minutes. Um, hold on to your butts. All right, sorry, folks. I'll be right back. Two minutes. See you guys shortly. That's live TV.
I'm going to have to learn how to play combo goblins real quick. Hi, everybody. Yeah, I didn't want to let Jim time out, so I ran downstairs. <laughs> Famous last words. I'm going to have to figure out. Like, I mean, Jim just said, like, maybe I don't have to combo them. We can just, maybe if we don't combo them, we could figure out another way. So anyway, we're going to, um, we're going to mulligan this hand. <laughs> Our opponent is mulliganing to seven. I'm just trying to let the inactivity time click down a little bit further <laughs> before Jim comes back. So, cause I, I'm not gonna pretend I know what I'm doing. Um, I barely know what this card does. I actually played against this card round one regionals in the fall. Uh, I'm gonna let it go to 30 seconds. Yeah, thanks everybody. I, I, I don't know if you can all tell I'm a hot mess. I, I, I went actually had to go out shopping this morning for the next two weeks of supplies for the house and um you know it's been it's been rough it's been <laughs> i feel like this is a keep and shipping one of the experts i guess um yes gotta fake it till you make it jim should be back here any minute but uh yeah it, it was it was rough it was just very sudden and it was like sort of like guilt ridden i guess on our end a little bit because he was so young and there's no way to know exactly what happened to him he uh we just kind of we jim had been holding him in this chair and his 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 uh tank is right there and i was sitting at the computer there he put him back because he thought he had a pee i saw him munching in the corner and then i looked over and he was just laying in his pee corner i was like jim be quiet he's sleeping really funny and jim like leaned over got up went over him went oh my god zippy and i thought he was messing with me and he wasn't. So, um, yeah. It's been rough. Okay. I guess Jim's tagging in. I mulligan for you. Thanks. You're welcome. Sorry about the break, folks. My stomach kind of sucks sometimes and it just says, 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 you know, just says to do things and I have to do it. So. I'm invested now. You're invested Can now? Can I be invested? Sure, you're invested. I'm invested. All right. Um, <laughs> I have a some emotional support stream now. Great. So. <laughs> great. Wonderful. Just what, just what I've always wanted, an emotional support stream. No, I'm talking about Twitch chat. I know. Being emotionally supportive. That's what I mean. Of me. I don't trust them. Uh, Pump ball against the five. Poor opponent. I guess we're going to keep. I was like triple mean. I mean, imagine you're we draw, like, one of the any experts, enab right? Any enabler card is fine, but. Yeah. I mean, and that kills a lot of their stuff, right? Maybe. Zodiac, thank you for the point. resub. I appreciate that. One Yay. year. Wow, one year. Happy birthday! Happy sub day, birthday anniversary. Yeah, Meg, it just is—it just crazy. Like, I don't think I've ever had that happen with an animal before, like with gerbils and stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. Zippy's definitely less hardy than gerbils are. He's just like a dumb, stupid hamster. I mean, when your dad's gerbil had gotten sick, Rosalia, she got that's, sick pretty that's true. quick. That's true. Yeah. But we weren't sure exactly what was wrong, so. All right. But yeah. Tried to fool Nicole to play Chalice on Zero. She likes you too much to listen to me. <laughs> Alright, well, they have turn one to coddle here. They all get to five. <laughs> it's not a bad mulligan, I guess. Let's see what they yeah, have. It's basically the nuts. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, now I have a card to kill an expert, though. It's actually like, not like the end of the world. I can cast a, an expert profitably. Still might just die, but. Yeah. All right. I mean, yeah. if they don't have a good follow up here, if they have like a target command, I might just die. But I mean, are you chump blocking? Watching Ziggy, Zippy Boy swag to cope. Yeah. Oh. That's Jim. Uh, uh, John and I just made up a couple of uh, football plays in in the backyard. We make little plays together. Um, 
and uh, one of them was called Zibby Man, and it was just like the quarterback flips it to the receiver, and the receiver throws it to the quarterback. And then we had, we had, uh, we were just calling it "Get Out the Way," and it was just the Thanks quarterback the taking the ball and having the receiver block. <laughs> yes, we have a football stadium in our backyard. <laughs> By that I mean we play play catch. Yeah. But your yeah, rats are really cool. They they pee a little bit everywhere though, and I don't like the smell. But they have a Tarkus command too. No, yes. It paused. It's a pretty good five card hand. Ain't going to one. I mean, this who knows to do? Like. Yikes. I don't think their hand could get much better. Um. I mean. So we're at one. Can I yes, Finn. If rats didn't didn't mark everything, whatever. Oh, well, whatever. That's, that's five card hand opponent. Jeez. Yeah, that was insane. Thanks, plays. I appreciate that. Um, if rats didn't if rats didn't mark everywhere, rats are, are amazing. They're really really cool. Um, all right. So yeah, I mean, we went two and three. Um, not not great luck there at the end of the game, but. How many times have we held that overlord? Uh, we killed them in one shot with it once. That was it. There's just the just the um we just made the, it, the we land destruction deck, right? Just yeah, the deck. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. Hellkite Overlord's probably not worth it. Pretty funny meme, but realistically, I think that this deck could be built to be like reasonably competitive. Um, if we just focus on Grumgully. Like I love, I just love this idea of playing all four Putrid Goblins. I'm not sure if I would have like come to that on my own. Again, this is the list that five owed. Um, but I'll work on this. I'll work on this. I think if you just play like four Putrid Goblin, four Grum Gully, uh, like four Sling Gang, you know, like two Pashik Mon, just like really, really overload on the combo and trim down on Ring Waiters and like the Sushers and the Herald and the Hellkite Overlords can go too and stuff. So, kind of cool. It's kind of cool. So, uh, that's the deck. That's Mog Monday for today. Uh, I'm not going to stream for the next few days. Take a few days off. So I said, again, if you're just tuning in, welcome. Um, I explained things at the beginning of the stream. It'll be up on YouTube probably in like an hour. So you can go, you can go watch it um, if you're not a sub and can't watch the VOD. I explained explain what happened to Zibby, and I explained about our, our moving situation, um, which is pretty good, honestly. I mean, it looks like we're going to close on Monday, maybe? I think, I think we're going to push it to Wednesday, just to make sure that everything goes through correctly. No. You tell them we're going to go and annex their house. All right, it's gonna be our house. We're gonna take it from them. All right, so I guess next Wednesday. Hashtag now. But that's that's <laughs> yeah, hashtag now, correct? But that, that's well over. Uh, Finn, thanks so much, my Aww. friend. I appreciate it. And uh, but that, that's you. that's well over. Um, it was our original closing date was May fifteenth. So once the move starts, content will quiet down for about a month. Uh, again, I talk all about it. Started the video, so just go watch the video, which will be up on YouTube in like a about a, about an hour. So. All right, folks, I love you all. Thank you for all your support. Um, um, I'm sorry about Zibby as well, because obviously he was part of the stream. So challenge them to a duel. Yes, we will duel you for the house that we're going to buy from you. So, all right, YouTube folks, take a second, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.